What's up all you modern posing loving dudes and you dance? Toysh is here and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look and today we are totally checking out the brand new Mattel Masters of the Universe He-Man Origins Battle Cat. This is the only He-Man figure I've seen on the shelf so far. <laughs> but it does have gorgeous artwork on the packaging. This is what I want to see. This is hands down. This is some awesome retro inspired packaging. You get to see Battle Cat right there in the window. Modern posing retro play. Don't forget that. It's just old school mixed with new school articulation. Nice side of the packaging right there. Battle Cat on the back. Again, nice artwork. Shows you how the figure works. Cross sales of what figures are coming, which I absolutely love. You don't really see that a lot anymore. Gorgeous artwork. Just simply astounding. You can see that the articulation, the saddle, all that armor comes off of Battle Cat. First wave figures, He-Man, Tila, Man-at-Arms, Skeletor, Evelyn, Beast-Man, Battle Cat, which we're checking out, and Prince Adam with the Sky Sled. Again, Battle Cat's the only one I found. These are exclusive to Walmart until 2021, and then these figures will come out to the rest of different retailers online, yada yada. So now you will say probably like, wait, hey, Toysha's doesn't collect He-Man. What's going on here? Well... I'm getting into it with the Masters of the Universe. I kind of like this old school stuff. I do have the Castle Grayskull, which I put together myself, piece by intricate piece. Shameless plug, you can check out that video here. So I have some of the old school toys, and yeah, I'm gonna see how I kind of feel going forward with these. I'm excited to get into Masters of the Universe now. Wasn't into it as a kid, but I can appreciate the cool designs, the total bonkers bat poop nature that is He-Man. So we're going to see how this toy line goes. So we're going to start it off with Battle Cat. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of Eternian coffee. This is a look at the brand new Masters of the Universe Battle Cat He-Man Origins figure by Mattel. And here's Battle Cat, aka Cringer, out of the packaging. And I love that you can take off the saddle, the helmet. He looks good. And I'm going to say this right now. He looks good from afar. It's when you kind of get up close. There's a lot of paint problems with mine. Now, I'm not saying that's going to be on every single one. You may want to go through a few if you can. But as you can see right there on the mouth, especially, you got some missing paint. Also, the stripes on this guy get broken up by the sculpt. The sculpt is great. But when they put the stripes on, it really, like, the paint kind of fell through the intricacy of the sculpt, I guess you would say. And it really muddles the yellow for the stripes, and it looks mispainted. It looks like wrong. <laughs> That's really the only thing that I could really say. Otherwise, I do like the articulation for a modern sort of posing that they're prompting. I think it could have had a little bit more to it as far as articulation. The head is nice, the legs, the arms, things like that. And I will show you this. So... In, in looking at Battle Cat, the, the main thing is that, yes, you can articulate this very well. The eyes, I think, should have been yellow, right? He's got a helmet with painted eyes that are yellow, but he's got green eyes. And you can see a lot more close up that the paint really kind of seeps into where the sculpt is, which is not a bad thing, but it doesn't have enough paint to kind of cover up the seepage. Again, Really nice. He's got the treads, you know, they got the cat treads on the bottom. Nice furry stomach. Really nice overall. The sculpt is definitely there. But it's just when really looking at it, like from afar, you probably won't notice it. But the teeth are something I really much notice. The head sculpt, though, is very cool. The ball jointed head works really well. I like it. He can look up a lot, looks down, side to side, mouth opens. Again, that's very cool, especially if you want to put like a enemy's arm or something in there. You get a lot of good pictures out of it. But really, a lot of movement out of the head, which I do appreciate. The arms, the legs, I guess you could say, they're good, but I wish the feet would have had rockers on it because. You, it would have made it so much better, more naturalistic poses. I think, if anything, while I'm, you know, fine with how it is articulated-wise, especially the tail, you know, you can articulate the tail. Feet, is that would have been an important one, I think, that in this sense, for a more, you know, you have a battle cat, uh, it would have been nice. You can stand him up. You can use the tail as more of a stance, you know, to kind of throw him back. And it works really well. You can actually put He-Man in the saddle on his back and have him posed up in the air like he's roaring, rearing back. So it is a doable position. Now, when it comes to the saddle, it's very reminiscent of the old Mattel one for Battle Cat. It does have the strap on it. Of course, it's, it's a lot more malleable than, than the old one that I have, which we will take a look at in just a second. Battle Cat does have this indentation 
on his back. It's meant for the saddle, and then you'll see also for the helmeted piece. It's okay. I mean, I think for the sake of modern articulation, certain things could have been done just a little bit differently. You know what I mean? Just to kind of achieve this. Yes, I appreciate the old school nod to a lot of this stuff, but it does help to kind of modernize certain things, but you simply just strap it on and it looks good on him. I mean, you can't complain. It fits, looks well. Here's where, you know, the, the weirdness is it has painted eyes on the helmet. I'm okay with it, but then if you want to leave the helmet off, you know, you can see. So my old school Cringer Battle Cat has the same colored eyes. In the cartoon, he's got yellow eyes, and then, of course, when he puts the helmet on, he's got yellow eyes. So, I guess you could say continuity error or whatever. It's just kind of like a back and a forth kind of thing. It bugs me, but at the same time, I'm kind of nitpicking as well. If you have He-Man, now, again, this is the STCC 2019 He-Man with the knife in the boot. The knife in the boot doesn't come on the new one from the Walmart series, unfortunately. But you can see that in pairing him up with the original He-Man and Battle Cat, it looks great. The new one looks fantastic. For someone like me, getting into He-Man now, I appreciate this. I love it. Yes, I do love the old-fashioned one. He just looks cool. You can't beat that. I see where kids were coming from. I don't know why I didn't collect He-Man back in the day. I guess I was too busy with Turtles and Transformers, Ghostbusters especially. But now, in updating it, just in updating the articulation, I like that. It's simplistic. Mass of the Universe works in the simplistic, I never got into the Mattel He-Man classics. Didn't get into the Super 7. I kind of see He-Man now as an adult as a more of a simplistic, fun toy. These are just, it's a crazy world. I think the simplicity of Master Universe is what really appeals to me. And for having a green tiger with red armor and then having a barbarian dude ride him, they nailed it. The one thing I will say, though, is that I wish the paint was better, especially with those stripes. In this day and age... And touting, you know, modern, everything else. The paint, really no excuse. I'm nitpicking about the eyes. It's it's just one of those things where I look at it and go, ah, continuity error, whatever you want to call it. But the armor doesn't need extra paint. It doesn't need, like, a wash to it. The Cringer, the Battle Cat, doesn't need a wash. It just, it is what it is. But when it comes to the articulation, let's just say, things like when you put his head back and he's got the, the you know, the helmet on him, it does knock back into the saddle. So I will say going forward, just in promoting and prompting this modern posing, certain things could be changed, especially with the paws. He needed some paw rockers. That would have been really cool to kind of pose him every which way. But in looking at what they did before, just kind of keeping the simplicity, putting some extra modern articulation, both on He-Man and Battle Cat. We'll see where the other ones go as I find them in the store, but I'm happy with this. I think that this is going to be a fun endeavor, and now, being as old as I am now, I'm happy to collect Masters of the Universe. I think it's going to be fun, and I really appreciate the old, what came before, and then seeing, you know, now he's got an articulated jaw, now the legs move, yada, yada. I can see what kids really gravitated towards this for back in the day. Yeah, this must have been a lot of fun, me playing with Ghostbusters, me playing with Transformers and things. It was just fun. It was simplistic. You didn't really think too much about it. But nowadays, yeah, I can see where people want more. I kind of want some more articulation here and there on Battle Cat. But like I said before, these are Walmart exclusive. They're going to be here until 2021, and then they'll move into other retailers. But I'm curious to know what you guys think. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything He-Man. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, have a very He-Man day. Let's get some Masters of the Universe going. And let me know what you think. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. <laughs>